Yo, what's up guys, it's Regoful Turtle, making another YouTube video, and today we're going to make a simple vector eyeball, and so I will show you on how to do that. So, first things first, we're going to start off with the circle. Alright, so, start off with the circle, and then we're going to go ahead and make it a, like a creamy color. Like, we're going to go up here and going to go with the yellowish, yellowish color, and then once we do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, kill the saturation a bit, lower a little bit, a bit so it's not so uh, saturated. And the reason why I'm doing a creamy color and not like a white is because my background is gray and it's going to blend in too much. Plus it just gives it a bit more of a dynamic look. So and then so so there's that. So now that we have our, our circle, we're going to go ahead and create. We're going to go ahead and duplicate this layer. I mean this. Uh, yeah, this layer. And then we're going to go ahead and kill off the color and then we're going to make an outline of eight points. Do, we'll do 15 point outline all right and so now when we have the outline it's just gonna help us out with some stuff all right so now what we want to do is uh go ahead and grab this creamy middle color and we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that that circle and we're just gonna change this color so we could see it for now and we're gonna go ahead and shrink that up and just about about that size and uh, this is gonna be the the colored part of the eye and so now you want to go ahead and duplicate that layer again and now you got another circle and that will be the iris and go ahead and make that a bit smaller if you want or a bit bigger depends how you want it we're gonna go ahead and make it a little bit smaller and so now that we got that done we're gonna go ahead and uh, change that color to black or just like a really dark color we're gonna go ahead and just leave it like a dark red, reddish maroon color. And now what we're gonna do is change this, uh, what is it? No, this is the iris, I believe. This is the pupil, so this pupil, so that color, we're gonna go ahead and change it to like, um, go to your CMYK colors, and we're gonna go ahead and change it to a green, and give it some cool, a cool green, green eye look. And now, uh, that's, that's pretty simple, that's pretty much, th like the gist of it and so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and duplicate that green color and we're gonna go do the same thing as we did with the main outline of the eyeball we're gonna just go ahead and, and give it a a 12 point stroke and that's pretty much your eyeball right there uh, now to make it start making it look more like an eyeball go ahead and grab your stroke another circle and get rid of the stroke and then that so we're gonna go ahead and make those white those are gonna be the reflection the of the highlights of the eyeball so we're just gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that and we're gonna just make another smaller one and we're gonna put it right at the bottom of it right there like that perfect so now it's starting to look more like an eyeball and so now what we're gonna do is um, so since we put the highlight right here our light source is coming from this corner here from the upper top left hand corner and it's coming down diagonally so we're gonna go ahead and start making our highlights from that area so what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab this um, the creamy eye color and we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate duplicate that and then we're gonna grab it and then we're gonna duplicate it again and we're gonna go about right there let's change the color so you can see a little bit better so about right there from this creamy color and we're gonna go ahead and grab those two Select those two and then we're going to go ahead and subtract. And now we're going to get this crescent moon shaped right here. And so once you get that shape, we're going to go ahead and put it down here and see where that lines at. We're going to just put it right there and then we're going to go ahead and just bump this to white. And that's the highlight of the eye. And we're going to lower the opacity a little bit. And now there's the highlight. And unless you want a different colored highlight, we could go like a bluish highlight like that. So we're not we just have a white highlight and so it's more of a blue it's a blue light hitting the eyeball so now that we have that going on we're gonna go ahead and grab that crescent moon again we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it and we're just gonna rotate it like that and then we're gonna go ahead and put it down here on this opposite direction of the eye and we're gonna go ahead and have that same color so we'll just duplicate that for that color and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and go to just darken it up on our CMYK sliders on the K slide you're gonna go hit it 80 
and it'll keep the same we'll make it the same opacity as the highlight so it has some transparency to it and it gives the eye a more damn 3d look so now once you got that going on we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this uh, iris we're gonna go ahead and just grab that same sh shadow detail and we're gonna go ahead and just shrink it with proportion and then we're gonna go ahead and put it above our, our that green color layer and then just put it right there plop it down right there we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller and then just fix it so it's sitting right and we're just gonna bump it up so it's coming out as much as we can get it so there you go so now it's more it's looking more like an eyeball and so now that we have that uh, let's just add some little details to the eyeball so what we're gonna do is grab this circle the highlight circle we're gonna copy it and then we're just gonna turn it into an oval and we're gonna make it a bit bigger and then we're gonna rotate it to uh, go ahead and rotate it to 105 degrees now nah, a bit more 120 degrees and just put it right here and then grab that other circle highlight circle and put it right there and then grab those two shapes and then we're gonna go ahead and make it the same color as the eye, the main eyeball. And then we're gonna just go ahead and make them a little bit darker. And actually, we're gonna go ahead and just keep it the same color. And then we're gonna go to our saturation and then we're just gonna make it more uh, saturated. And then the lightness, we're gonna go ahead and bump it down. Just gonna make it a bit darker like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and just lower the opacity really low like that and now it just gives it a little bit of detail like a like kind of like a eye just eye detail i guess that's what we're doing and then and yeah that's pretty much uh, how i make my eyeballs that's that's pretty much it we could add just a little tiny bit more detail if we wanted to make these a bit smaller and then what we can do is just add more highlight into that middle part right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate this highlight. And then same thing, just bump it above the green in your layers. And then we're just gonna go ahead and shrink it up. And we're gonna put it right here. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And put it right under the outline. And there it is, just another outline a little bit more detail and we can go ahead and just bump down the opacity a bit more and there you go and just gives it more 3d look and what we could do with this outline the main outline of our whole eyeball we could just go ahead and just give it some more depth some more 3d look so we just go ahead and just thin out the strokes a little bit boom boom just make one part thinner and then the other just go ahead and just make the, the bottom a bit thinner than the top like that perfect and then make sure this is still within the the outline the stroke and there you go and that's pretty much how you make a, an eyeball just a fast simple eyeball and now all you can do just to change the colors just maybe you want to change your iris color uh, just go ahead and go to your hue and just start playing around with whatever colors suits your need for your project. So like that looks good, like that looks good, and just play around with it. And so yeah, that's how you make a quick vector eyeball in Affinity Designer. And so yeah, thank you for watching and make an eyeball. Show me how it turned out and then show me what you use it for. You could use it for many purposes, like Halloween, especially. I could see this being used as like a Halloween asset. So yeah, thank you for watching. Like comment and give me a subscribe hit that subscribe button down there thank you for watching and have a great day bye